We all love our canine companions and their mental health is extremely important to us. So one thing you need to ask yourself before getting a dog of any sort is how often will I be leaving my dog alone? Not all breeds do well by themselves, so some need attention throughout the day or they'll become stressed. This sort of stress from being alone is known as separation anxiety and can lead to unwanted behaviours and often destructive behaviours. Today we'll be taking a look at the lovable Bull Terrier. These dogs have their origins in verming hunting, but today are well-known family companions. But the question on our minds today is do Bull Terriers get separation anxiety? Welcome back to the Fenrir Bull Terrier Show. My name is Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Bull Terriers, then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Bull Terriers. So if you're a lifelong Bull Terrier lover, thinking about getting one or just starting your journey with your new Bull Terrier, this channel is for you. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to never miss a future Bull Terrier video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll see if Bull Terriers do in fact get separation anxiety. To understand if a dog is prone to getting separation anxiety or not, we need to first understand separation anxiety itself. Separation anxiety is a clinical disorder that needs to be diagnosed by a veterinary behaviourist. It's very different from a dog who gets upset when you leave them for the day and then relaxes. Separation anxiety causes canines to participate in destructive behaviours and behaviours that have the potential to cause harm to the dog. Dogs with separation anxiety may pour at a door until they bleed or knock things down onto themselves in a panic. They may also howl, drool or sweat excessively. Housebroken dogs may even urinate or defecate in the house. While we aren't entirely certain what causes a dog to become more or less prone to separation anxiety, we know that some things can make it worse or cause a canine to start experiencing it. A dog may develop separation anxiety after things like being returned to a shelter, a large shift in routine, a death in the family, or experiencing something frightening while being home alone at a young age. Many also believe it's partially caused by a genetic predisposition. Now, let's take a look at the Bull Terrier. These dogs originated from Bull and Terrier dogs. People wanted to brave but swift dog and cross the two with great results. These canines were used to help control the vermin population and for animal blood sports. However, Jamie Hinks saw their potential. His goal was to breed a gentleman's companion and thus the modern Bull Terrier was created. Over the years, careful and responsible breeding has given us the canine we know today and Hinks' family is still very involved with the breed. Being as the breed was bred to be a companion animal, they enjoy spending a lot of time with their families, they have high energy levels which means that they also love to play and they get along very well with children as well. So yes, Bull Terriers are prone to separation anxiety, more so than some other breeds. Due to their high energy levels, they need to be around their family, they can become quite anxious very easily when left alone for long periods of time. Hey guys, sorry to quickly interrupt the video, I just wanted to let you know, if you didn't know already, that my first book has come out, is now officially published and ready for you to check out if you are interested. It's called Raising and Training Perfect Puppies, The Missing Secret to Success. I think you'll find it really valuable and if you'd like to check it out, there will be a link in the description box below. Though it's important to be able to identify the difference between a bored bull terrier and an anxious bull terrier, the signs can be quite similar and in some cases cases can be confusing to differentiate. A bored bull terrier may dig, chew or otherwise become destructive once left alone for too long. This is because bull terriers were bred to be with their families and active, so long periods with nothing to do can quickly lead to boredom. Bull terriers are also known to have a low boredom threshold. A bull terrier suffering from boredom may tear up the sofa or destroy shoes to give themselves a task. They are notorious for chewing on the sofa when bored and home alone or digging holes in the yard. A bull terrier suffering from separation anxiety will not be focused enough to perform a linear and deliberate task. They'll panic as soon as they're left alone, which can lead to damage in the house and injury to the dog. The damage can look very similar, but isn't the same. A bull terrier who's just bored may choose one area to dig in or a certain type of item to destroy. The one suffering from separation anxiety may claw at the front door until they're bleeding or knock over furniture while pacing or running anxiously. Thankfully, there are ways to help our beloved canines overcome such a horrible fear of being home alone. As always, it's best to start training as early as possible. The earlier training starts, the more successful it will be. 
It's important to start with short absences when teaching a dog that it's okay to be alone. As long as they don't become distressed, you can increase the amount of time that you're away. This will help your puppy acclimatise to being alone in a non-scary fashion as they know you'll come back even if it takes some time. Regular exercise and training is also important to help curb separation anxiety. A dog that's worn out won't have as much energy to go running around and getting into things accidentally or otherwise. If you know you're going to be away for a period of time your dog isn't comfortable with, it's a good idea to check out a reputable daycare, pet sitter or walker to take care of them while you're away. And always, always check with your vet if you're worried about your dog's well-being. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget that if you're new here, make sure you've subscribed as we have two dedicated Bull Terrier videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bull Terrier Show.